So Kingpin, last week, he came around, played Happy Chaos first round against me. And, uh, but he's been, he's been working on it. We're playing some casuals beforehand, starting to get a little bit more of a grasp of the character. Still gets a little wily when he gets put up against the corner. But uh, I'm here for it. Jam 4, I do not think we've seen him in one of these uh, Flynn's gaming tournaments quite yet, but it's Biken. I think Biken's pretty strong with patch. We had AJ come out a few weeks ago, ended up killing everyone. Oh, we're going to this stage. Okay, early air dash in ID, but now you're full screen. You're getting zoned right there, Kingpin. Use a little bit too much of the resource there, running out of it. All right, nice IAD over the button from Jam4. All right, we're shooting, we're shooting guns. All right, get the distance. Curse is on, nice back dash on the shot there. IAD in, get the combo. Dropping the 2H there. Oh, shoot. And honestly, I think Viking's one of the characters that right now plays pretty well in the Happy Chaos, mainly for that reason that when you have 50% on the character, and you have gun ready, like, Happy Chaos can not just shoot all willy-nilly, but you... Uh, is, um, going to be on Team Spooky? It's going to be on, um... I pull it up. It is going to be on Team Spooky, yep. It's after k -Lab. We're just getting over in Flint's Gaming, so I know a lot of people... I want to watch Combo Breaker. Honestly, I don't even know how to say a lot of people. I want to watch Combo Breaker. Top 8, starting very, very soon, right after the KOF tournament. Just taking a look. It's pretty hype. If it was me, I'd have multiple Twitch streams up right now, because the sets so far have been really good at Combo Breaker. I've been seeing a lot of high-level skill. You know, the Guilty Gear Strive ended up having, like, over a thousand players. So, it was pretty wild. Until so this point, we let Zando get through. He's a top EU player for a reason. Back to the match, though. All right, we're getting shot again. Oh, gun goes through. We're shooting. Again. All right, nice use of the uh, super focus. Very good move on Happy Chaos. Gives him all his meter back and allows him to shoot more, meaning that he loses less meter for each shot for a brief period of time. So you use percent you get all it back, and you shoot better. Great move, Curse is still on, continue the combo. Nice bullets, all right. Just holding it down, that's a, that's a really good strategy. Honestly, uh, a lot of Happy Chaos players that may be lower level, uh, don't ever hold the gun on them looking for something. So it's a very smart delay from Kingpin, taking the first game now. All right, there's the Curse on. And he's still getting shot. Alright, his, his you know, shooting, his uh, actions per minute are a little bit low. There's a nice big counter hit. Ends up uh, messing up the combo after, wasting a lot of bullets, but we have full resources back on Kingpin. There it is. Nice ID in. Jamfor finally getting able to approach here. Alright, nice TK here. Got the tech. There it is. Caught him mashing with the Tatami. Does he need to start cleaning up those combos, getting that big damage that Blaken is able to secure in these uh, interactions? Nice gun. Nice shot. Okay, catch the first. No punish on or at least not a major punish. I'm gonna need to teach him how to put away his gun. I'm gonna have to talk to him. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen him just naturally put it away. Oh, make our way in. Hits him on the other side. Cross up. And we're getting shot. We're getting shot. This is where you do not want to be against Happy Chaos. And this is what Kingpin has been practicing. They've been looking for the uh, zoning Happy Chaos there. I, I told him that. I told him he needed to wait a little bit more earlier. Make sure the red goes on the mark. Gotta know where you're hitting. And we get the curse back. Okay, curse isn't there, but this should be able to kill. No ops to get the curse. Let's see if he does it straight into super focus. Hopefully blocks it there. Good reactions from it. Wasn't just going straight into the gun. Jam for it though. Pushing him against the corners. Chance again. No ID over. JS connects. Honestly, the biggest thing right now, Jam4 has been doing really good at the getting in on Kingpin, but whenever he makes his way in, he just allows him to get out of the corner. There. 60% of his health already gone. RC. All right, nice Houston 
JD to change up the air momentum. Falling. I like it. What's up, brother? How are we doing? We, we got some uh, guns going, but JM4 making some adaptations right now. Uh, I, I like the dash block coming from. So, so, like, something I think is important to acknowledge when you're playing against Happy Chaos is you need know, to start figuring out the rhythm of the Happy Chaos players' shots. So, like, uh, they, they all kind of do it at a different pace because they all got their own rhythm. But if you're able to figure that out, you can start dash blocking a lot more effectively. Yep, and that's only when he's, he's uh, full screen. You can also uh, figure out his rhythms when he got, when he's up close, because a lot of happy chaoses will just be thirsty for a grab, or they'll be just throwing out two Ks, and you can throw out your counter pokes accordingly. Exactly. You know, his mix isn't like crazy potent. It's just his pressure's so good that you gotta block it like full time. Yeah. You know, he he's puts you back in the blender for such a long time. You're bound to guess wrong once. But that's a good way for him to uh, get back his focus or to, uh, what was it, just manage his resources a bit. Uh, knocking you down, putting another curse on you instantly, and then getting you to at least one bullet in the chamber. There it is, Jamboard has Kingpin against corner. No, nice poke out with the 2K. Using a lot of bullets, but you're getting shot. The irony. Yep, I mentioned it earlier. I think Biken plays pretty, oh, oops, not quite yet. I think Biken plays pretty well into uh, Happy Chaos. Happy Chaos's yeah. game plan? Absolutely. Kabari on his, on his back dashes or his curse is amazing. Yozansen just being able to uh, mix him up. A lot of characters can get in on, on uh, Happy Chaos, but then once they're in, they only have a little bit of time to actually try to mix him up or get, uh, open him up. And I think Biken actually does a really good job opening up uh, Happy Chaos. Yeah, once he has that meter, you know, there's not many characters in the game that make Happy Chaos have to play the matchup differently. Biken's one of them, Potemkin's one of them, and Biken, if she has 50%, you can just shoot them. They're, they're zoning you out, just shoot them back. Yep. All right, I got you, AJ. We got, of course, the best bike in the floor that in the chat. You can correct us if we're wrong about anything. There it is. Nice Yonzen round start. Able to bring him back down to the ground. ID over. And we're just back to the game, the, the game plan. Messing up a little bit of his inputs. He's been practicing, uh, trying to get the uh, reload into a focus shot a little bit more consistent, but you're just getting ran back into the corner. There it is. Forward yep. flash catches him waking up. Not blocking. Looks like he caught him with a Kabari when he was trying to jump away. All right, going into winner side four. point for Kingpin. Yeah, game four here. Kingpin on match point. Uh, oh, that first, you're going to be staying still close to Biken because rope is attached. All right, a little bit of a range pickup combo with the Tommy. What do you think of Tether in this matchup? Do you think it's uh, really good for Biken or do you think it's like, okay? I mean, Tether can always be a mixed bag, right? Because the opponent can get such damaging combos, but it means that Happy Chaos can't run away from you anymore. So yeah. Tether's on point and you have the kind of advantage state, you know, you get in a neutral situation that you're not worried about getting counter hit. Um, it could be really good. Like we saw after that burst, he can still have to stay close to Biken. And this is what we're seeing, Jam4 making the very good adaptation of just dash blocking in. Getting open up sometimes, but that's what you need to do against this character. Just try it full send. Ends up losing the round because if I respect it, I, I expect to see a two age coming out from nowhere. Oh. Okay, We're full screen. Looks like catching a jump again. All right, two S. Can't get much. Didn't do the Kabari, did it uh, to Tommy instead. Oh, nice TK, Yonzen. Didn't have, you know, the mirror face conversion. Woo! This time in the grab. Honestly, a lot, both of these players are jumping a lot in this matchup. Oh, he's low on resources, low on focus, low on bullets. In the corner, somehow fights his way out. Has his focus back, and that is basically the most important thing for him to have. So in this close quarter situation, maybe you want a few more bullets. Yeah. Oh. Not catching much. Should be blocking right here, thank God. You know, there's this couple of frames that you can get punished simply for landing. For landing, they, yeah. They always scare me when I see a player and it's after the flash. But uh, Kingpin trying to win this round. He's been really impressed with these last few interactions, pushing his uh, momentum. That is truly just a few frames, though. Now we're back. That's the curse is there. Oh. Gonna be looking for the uh, shot. Able to get the focus, allows him to shoot a bit more. Woo! Oh, makes his way right through the bullet. Curse just running out. No! Oh, we're shooting. Okay, no players have any meter. Danger, you see on the screen. Oh! These jumps are deadly for both players. 
Yeah, honestly, for both players, it'd be nice to see a little more, you know, six keys, anti-airs coming out to, to bring back to the ground to ground. But if the jumps are working, they're making your way in, then might as well keep them running with it. Might be some stream jitters. First game of the day, sort of jitters. Stream jitters, you know, first match of the night, you always play the worst. And uh, both these players are, are relatively new to uh, Flynn, so it's good to see him come out there getting shot the whole entire round when we're talking over it. Perfect. You see it, the seven golden letters. All right, game five, first round of the day. Winner of this is going to be going on to play against BT Man. God rest their soul. Yeah, that guy, uh, easy win. You know, I've been hearing I've been hearing he's doing commentary more. Maybe he's uh Oh yeah? He's starting doing, to hang up the gloves. Yeah, that's the thing, you know. He has been a commentator for a while. Bad player, good commentator. That's what he's known for. Losing his edge. Hey, I'm just saying I was happy to see um Taiga do so well in KOF. Because he's another one of those players people were like, oh he's just a commentator. I'm like, bro, this guy's OD. He, he got like I think he had like four teeth or something for um King of Fighters. Uh, but that's not this match. We're in the last game. Tom Breaker, of course, going on. It's making me excited. Uh, I love when the majors roll around. Oh, missing this shot. Getting on another jump in. Oh. Actually blocked this one. Another jump in. Another... <laughs> I was about to say another jump in, preemptively. You're ready for it, you know. It, it, you're trying to make a read on the opponent, but they're like, I'm listening to this. I'm not going to jump for the fourth time. I got counter hit. Hey, those, those, those <laughs> IEDs coming out, those IEDJSs, they're doing God's work out here tonight. Honestly, for both players. All right, we should be able to shoot here. Ooh, the JD to catch the jump in. We have counter play. Blake and JD is absolutely wild. I think it's a really cool move. Yeah, yeah. It, Mashing those two Ks to get out of that close quarter situation. Oh, Here comes the super. Oh, catching the jump frames. We're jumping to the moon. We're IEDing toward each other. Bro, we're just jumping around here. This is this is looking like a uh, dive kick right now. Uh, no movement, but just jumping. Your shot. No, you could have gone to super. You could have gone to gun. You could have finished him off right there. We got one more chance of life for Jam4 here. Oh, oh, oh. Honestly, we, need, we need to teach these players about air grabs. If one of the players could air grab at this play, they'd be killing it. Oh yeah, air grab, 6B. Honestly, not a lot more for Viking or Happy Chaos for that matter. No two, no two H's here. Oh. Okay, nice. 6B, like key first on the one. Ground. There's the first coming out though. Should be able to fix him up right here. Just gives him a couple more times. Ran out of focus. And, and shot for it. Oh my god. All right. Oh my God! I almost didn't see Happy Chaos in the background. He blended in so well. <laughs> He's got the shirt, the khakis. All right. There it Getting is. the curse back on. This one thing is curse allows him to shoot that much better, and he can get into his flow once it's off. Give him Jamfor's chance. Ooh, catches the jump in from Jamfor with one of his own. Ooh, shot from behind. This game's terrible.